Hey y'all, it's Renee. Thank you for coming by my channel. Welcome to my home. Come on in this house. Let's see what we're going to be making today. Looks like we've got some potatoes, some lamb chops, and some asparagus. How many of y'all like their love lamb chops? Are you just too afraid to try and make them? Today you're going to learn, baby. You're going to learn. So we're going to start with our mashed potatoes. Get you a nice clean washed mashed potato. Make sure your skins are dry. I've already washed and let those sit for a day those potatoes I'm gonna get those for our fresh mashed potatoes because we don't do mashed potatoes in a box around here it's gonna have to be real 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 hard to get a whole real potato before we do some box potatoes in this house so what i'm doing i just got them i cut them up i cubed them don't forget your garlic I always put garlic inside of my mashed potatoes because I like garlic mashed potatoes. So you let the garlic boil along with your potatoes there. Make sure they're fork tender before you take them out. And while those potatoes are boiling, you want to go ahead and start working on the meat, guys. See, I got some lamb chops here. That came from two racks of lamb chops. And I marinated them in rosemary, thyme, olive oil, and a little red chili pepper flakes. I put it in the refrigerator for uh, 24 hours there. Let all the flavors kind of get together and marry each other. Get to know one another inside that bag with that meat. And these are like classic flavorings and seasonings for lamb. It's so easy. I just went to my mama's garden and I clipped a uh, few pieces of it. Brought it back, washed them, used them for, for my marinade there. Now what you're also going to see, you'll be seeing these seasonings with salt and pepper. Now I season with the salt and pepper after taking them out of the marinade because if you put the season on that meat, the salt and pepper, well the salt anyway on that meat, what's going to happen is it's going to dry your meat out. We don't want dry meat. I know I don't. I like my meat to be nice, moist, and juicy and also flavorful so you add that salt afterwards okay and that's how you do your lamb chops as you can see it's very hot you don't have to do it over a grill keep in mind that those lamb chops were in oil so every time that oil kind of kisses that fire that fire jumps up and kisses that lamb chop right so if you're afraid of the fire like doing it on an indoor grill or the outside grill you can go ahead and do them in a pan. I even have a pan that has grill uh, marks on it. Well, it's a grill pan. So it'll leave grill marks on your meat. And you can do it that way. You can do it like in a regular pan, even a cast iron pan or a non-stick pan. But if you're gonna choose a pan, I would say probably go with cast iron. It'll be the better one to give you a nice uh, crust once that salt is on that meat. So you're gonna need to clean up along the way put your stuff away make sure you wash those hands why because you've been touching meat y'all watching them lamb chops for me while i'm over here washing my hands i hope so don't let my stuff burn don't let it burn i got other stuff to do and i'm, I'm trying to be in two places at once i got to get these potatoes honey y'all got to watch that meat over there for me i'm going to drain those potatoes get all that water out but when I put them back on the stove, I have to let them sit for a few minutes and kind of let the other water soak out that didn't come out just then. The water that's remaining in the potato. So it'll sit on a, just the heat of the fire there. Look at that. Charles, don't that look good? You, do you see those grill marks on that meat? You can rewind that back if you want to look at it again. Take one more look. So we get that meat, we flip it over. We make sure it's cooking. Now one thing about lamb, is that your bones are going to probably char before your meat is ready. So don't go by the color of the bones. You need to get you a meat thermometer or be real good at checking the temperature, the doneness that you want with your finger. Go ahead and do that. I happen to use a meat thermometer just to be sure. And then even then, I'll still go back and kind of touch it and see if that's what I want. So you see, now we're getting ready to get that pan hot for the asparagus. We want asparagus getting ready here, y'all. And asparagus is so simple, so easy. All you gotta do is cut those woody ends off 
and you wash them, honey, and you're done. Your asparagus is ready. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can make asparagus tips. But then what do you do with the rest of the asparagus? So I just leave mine whole, or if I cut them, I cut them into to just the little pieces, and I can do them in a pan like that. And it makes it makes really good um, a, a really good addition for like a stir fried rice, a vegetable fried rice or something. You see, I got my little uh, thermometer there. All you have to do is aim the gun at it. It tells you the temperature. And you get the temperature you want for your lamb. Now, in the asparagus, all I'm going to do is do some garlic, butter, olive oil, salt, pepper. That's it. Very simple seasoning, but it's going to make your asparagus taste even better. And you want the flavor of your asparagus to shine through, right? So always got to go back and tend to this lamb because it can burn so very easily when it's on a high grill fire like this because of the oil dripping and it has a hot spot. So you want to always make sure you're watching out for it, okay? Don't forget to season that asparagus. The other thing is going to look good. Look kind of nice. Look at that. Oop, they tried to get out that pan, but we ain't going to let it. We don't waste food around here. No, we don't waste food. So you want to add your garlic in later after you cook your asparagus for a little bit. Don't let your asparagus get all wimpy and 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 just sad looking. You want to keep it kind of crunchy, so don't um overcook it. So you add your your garlic a little bit later on, so it doesn't um so it doesn't burn. I don't think you guys would like the flavor of burned garlic. I do like my garlic a little bit brown sometimes, and I'll still eat it. It's just a different kind of flavor to me. I eat it. I'm strange like right that. These lamb chops trying to play around act like they don't want to be ready. We're going to get them ready. They're going to be eating today. Once it's even ready, we're going to get down with get down in this kitchen today. And you can't even believe how easy this dinner is going to be, right? It's going to be so fast, so quick. You might spend 30 minutes on it. And most of that is going to be spent boiling your potatoes. How simple can it be? You have a meal in 30 minutes or less. Asparagus takes all of five minutes to cook. It's like nothing. And if you want, you can get you some garlic, smash them and, and mince them up, and just do a whole, like a few uh, bulbs of them. Just keep it in the fridge, and you'll have fresh garlic. You don't have to worry about cutting it up all the time, you know? And I get, uh, I get a lot of my veggies, and I kind of keep them prepared in the fridge. Like I have my herbs. I keep those in jars with water so that they can continue to thrive. So when I need a little parsley, I need a little cilantro, I just go to my fridge and I pull out fresh instead of the dry or having to run down to the store to go get some. So it's time for those lamb chops to come up now. They're ready. They're beautiful. They're nice and brown and charred and, and just good. They're just full of goodness, honey. That kitchen is smelling so good right now. All those herbs and spices in there cooking. Look at, do you see that? Go ahead and take a picture because you want to do that later. Take a picture right now. Go ahead and, and do a screen grab. Go ahead and do it. I know you want to because you want to take these um, lamb chops and turn them into your own. And I want you to turn them into your own. You guys keep coming back to this channel and you're going to learn how to do so many other things. And you'll be like, oh my God, I didn't know it was this easy. Even if you have never really cooked before in your life, you're going to learn something from me. That's my goal, to set out and teach everybody how to how to be able to survive in the kitchen. It's not as hard as you think it is. Do you get the potatoes? They've already dried out a little bit. So I'm just going to fluff them up with a fork, try to separate them a little bit. Because I don't mash my potatoes very long. I like to have little pieces, bites of potato inside of my mashed potatoes and i do apologize for the noise that was in the background but that was my um exhaust fan it's very loud but i wanted you guys um to be able to see me because if i didn't have it on honey it would have been all too through nothing but smoky in there make sure you use some butter in your potatoes don't mess around using margarine use some butter it makes such a big difference y'all and I'm going to add a little bit of a mixed milk. I used heavy whipped cream, whipping cream, and I used whole milk. And I put the two together 
to put inside of these mashed potatoes. It just makes them so rich tasting. You know, it tastes way better than what you're going to get in the box. I told you, we don't do box potatoes around here. I got some in my pantry just in case something happens. You know, we all dealing with this coronavirus out here. So, we got to have our staples on hand just in case we need them. But I can make a box potato taste real good too now. But we want to do those real potatoes today. The box potato is, is reserved. That's, that's for a struggle meal if I can't get my hands on some real potatoes. So I finish mine off with a spoon to kind of whip them around. I don't continue to mash because I don't want to use lose that integrity of the whole potato. You know, those whole potato chunks in there. I don't want to lose that. I want to keep that because I want to be able to chew my potatoes, not just put them in my mouth and swallow them like your baby food puree or something. Right? There's that parsley I told y'all about. You see how green and lively that parsley is? And I just go in there and I pick what I need. I cut up a few pieces because that's going to go in my potatoes. You see, my I got garlic parsley mashed potatoes. I got those lamb chops waiting to be eaten. I didn't do any sauces this time with those because I just wanted it simple and grilled and ready to go. So I got to plate it all up, get it together. And just like clockwork, my daughter came home. She always comes when the meal is done. I don't know how she does it. I didn't even tell her I was cooking. This child just showed up. I don't know how she did that the whole time she was pregnant. She would just pop up. All right, guys. My daughter happened to ride through. She always rides through when the meal is done. So she's going to go ahead and give a live review of what she's eating. Well, what you think? Talk about it. I'm not talking. That's a good thing. That's a good thing? <laughs> she loves asparagus, too. And we got these lamb chops. She asked me for two, but I ain't want to mess up my plate, so I'm going to give her one. I'm going to give her another one. You know that's a double cut lamb chop, so that's a good two. So we still got some more. We still got some more. And she's like, can I eat with my hand? It's just red, Mom. It's sensibility. It's medium. It's actually it's medium well. I did the tough one. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Is this your first time having lamb chops? Yeah. Oh. I don't know why I thought you had them before. Okay. It's good. She's smacking lips and all. Oh my god. It's good. All right. All right. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Adios. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for joining her. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I want to say thank you for joining us today. I had mashed potatoes, grilled asparagus, and some fire behind lamb chops. I almost said something else, but I'm not going to do it. Don't want to get this video marked. Okay, so go ahead. Try it at home for yourself. Make the, the lamb chop dinner for your family. They're very good. Try lamb. It's something new if you haven't had it. Go ahead and give it a shot, okay? Thanks for coming by my channel. Remember, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share. And remember, garlic is love. Mwah.